It's been around for 130 years. It's played a pivotal yet largely unseen role in the development of the telephone and the world of instant communications that we know today. And yet it now stands on the brink of a second coming, a resurgence that will help our industry into the era of gigabit speeds. What is it? It's copper. And I'm here in Belgium with industry leaders from across Europe and the world to discuss and debate copper's gigabit future. We think copper uh, has got a great life in it. We are already deploying GFAST in trials and we're going to deploy GFAST to 10 million homes by 2020 that will give uh, many of our customers ultra-fast speeds. Uh, we think copper is a great technology to do that. GFAST, where we've been driving the standards, uh, driving the technology manufacturers from vendors to chipsets to really enable us to, to leverage much more out of the copper. We do believe that there is still a lot of potential for copper. Copper has been around over the last 20 years. And if you see the evolution today with new technologies such as VDSL 35B, V plus as we call it, and GFAST, then we believe that, uh, and the bit rates it can offer, that copper is still capable to offer the services for the many years to come. So how long can copper last for? I would say um, it, could, it could last for a very, very long time. It really depends on what kind of services um, we're going to deliver on, on that network. Um, so it really kind of comes down to the services and what the consumer is, is looking for. And I, I believe that G. Fast could be around for 10 years, 20 years even. It's not just about bandwidth. It's about services, it's about the quality of service, um, it's about customer demand. At Proximus, although we're investing more in fibre, we still believe a lot in the potential of copper. Think about technologies like the 35B, 35 MHz VDSL, think about G.Fast and uh, XG.Fast. Yeah. I mean, how long does copper will stay is an interesting question and uh, hard to answer. I think you look, need to look at it twofold. Um, one is, I will call it the long loop, which um, will stay for, depends on the country, but probably for another 10 years, I assume. And the short loop, which is what you have to do in the building, I think that depends very much on how fast you renovate your house. And that can stay for a lot longer. And uh, so it's really hard to say. I think copper is going to continue to be an important part of the telecoms network for the foreseeable future. Um, there are lots of views in the room. Obviously, people have their own opinions. But copper suits situations in certain places. And I think that's going to stay the case for as long as we are around anyway. We've seen and heard today from some of the industry's top service providers, vendors and standards bodies that copper still has a key role to play as we move into the gigabit era. It may not be with us for another 130 years, but it could easily be still playing a part in time to celebrate a well-earned 150th anniversary.